Good morning. A 2.0 kilogram mass slides to the right 80.0 centimeters along a surface and comes to rest in 0.50 seconds. What net force is acting on the mass as it slides along the surface? So we know the mass of the object is 2.0 kilograms. We know the displacement is 80.0 centimeters. The change in time is 0.50 seconds, and we are solving for the net force. First thing I would suggest that you do is convert the displacement from centimeters to meters. It's always a good idea to start by putting everything into base SI dimensions. 100 centimeters equals one meter, so 80 centimeters is equal to 0.80 meters. Next, we should draw the free body diagram because it's a problem that deals with forces, so you need a free body diagram. The force normal is always normal to the surface and a push, so it is up perpendicular to the surface. The force of gravity is always straight down, and we know there is a force of friction because it is sliding to a stop, therefore it is accelerating in the x-direction, therefore there must be some force causing it to slow down, which is the force of friction. Because it's sliding to the right, we know the force of friction is opposing that motion, so the force of friction is going to be to the left. Now that we've drawn our free body diagram, we should use Newton's second law and we should sum the forces in, let's start with the y direction. The net force in the y direction equals the force normal, which is positive because it's up, minus the force of gravity, which is negative because it's down, and the net force is always equal to mass times the acceleration in this particular case. This is the acceleration in the y direction because we have summed the forces in the y direction. We know the mass is sliding along a horizontal surface to the right, therefore the acceleration in the y direction is equal to zero. It's not moving up or down at all. Therefore, the net force is equal to zero, which means that the force normal minus the force of gravity is equal to zero, which means the force normal, if we add the force of gravity to both sides, the force normal is equal to the force of gravity, and the equation for the force of gravity is mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Now, I'm actually not gonna plug anything in for that right now because you'll discover that this was completely useless as far as this problem is concerned. Um, it's useful to do in the long run because we're gonna do this a lot more as we get more into this class, but uh, for this particular problem, that actually doesn't do us any good. Sorry. Next, we can sum the forces in the x direction. The net force in the x direction, if you look, the only force acting in the x direction is the force of friction and it's to the left, therefore it's negative. Therefore, the net force is equal to the negative force of friction, which is equal to, because Newton's second law, the net force is always equal to mass times the acceleration in this particular case because we're summing the forces in the x direction. This is equal to mass times the acceleration in the x direction. Our goal is to solve for the net force we have the mass of the object, it's two kilograms. We simply need the acceleration of the object. Now, we know that this is a constant force. The force of friction is going to be constant. Therefore, the acceleration is going to be constant. The acceleration is going to be uniform. Therefore, we can use the uniformly accelerated motion equations to solve for the acceleration. One important piece of information from the problem is that it comes to a rest in 0.50 seconds. Therefore, we also know that the final velocity is equal to zero. Therefore, we can use the uniformly accelerated motion equation. The displacement is equal to one half times the quantity velocity, velocity initial plus velocity final times the change in time. We can substitute in our known values. The displacement is 0.8. We have one half times the quantity velocity initial, we do not know, plus the velocity final, which is zero, times the change in time, which is 0.5 seconds. So now we can solve for the initial velocity. Multiplying one half by 0.5 gives us 0.25 times the velocity initial. Dividing both sides by 0.25 gives us the velocity initial equals 0.8 divided by 0.25, or 3.2 meters per second. Now we can solve for the acceleration using a different UAM equation. The velocity final equals the velocity initial plus the acceleration times the change in time. Velocity final is zero, velocity initial is 3.2, and the change in time is 0.5. 
Uh, subtracting 3.2 from both sides gives us 0 minus 3.2 is equal to 0 0.5 times the acceleration. Therefore, dividing by 0 0.5 gives us the acceleration equals 0 minus 3.2 divided, divided by 0 0.5, or negative 6.4 meters per second squared. That is the acceleration in the x direction. Now, we can substitute in mass times acceleration to get the net force in the x direction. Mass is 2. The acceleration in the x direction is negative 6.4 meters per second squared, so that's equal to negative 12.8, or with two significant digits, negative 13 newtons. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.